to lock you, but um man. Let me read that one more time. Verse 8, it says, And after this I beheld, and lo, all they that were, which were gathered together to subdue him were sore afraid, and yet there's fight. All right? Because as I mentioned, that's going to be a terrible sight. The one, All the, the, the you know, all those uh, individuals in the fighter jets and, and then, you know, whatever aircraft or sp spacecraft that they have, they're going to be, you know, shaking in their boots, so to speak. They're going to be terrified, but the Lord's going to put the spirit on them to fight anyway. You know, because Exodus 15 and 3 says the Lord is a man of war. So the Lord likes a good fight. He's going to put the spirit on them to fight even though they're afraid. It says, and lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand nor held sword nor any instrument of war. But only I saw that he sent out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fire. And out of his lips a flaming breath, and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests. That's the laser beams, all right? And like I said, it's not actually coming out of his mouth. It's coming out of his ship, all right? It's going to be like an opening in his ship, and a laser beam is going to come out. It says, and they were all mixed together, which I, and like, you know, the Spirit always has me say whenever I do a lesson on this topic, you know, Hollywood didn't come up with this. OK, Hollywood didn't invent uh, so-called UFOs shooting laser beams. That's not something Hollywood came up with. That's in the Bible. All right. These Hollywood directors, they didn't just wake up one day and, you know, and they came. Oh, UFOs shoot out laser beams. They didn't come up with that. All right. That's in the Bible. All right. Verse 11, it says, and all and they were all mixed together. The blast of fire, the flaming breath, and the great tempest, and fell with violence upon the multitude which was prepared to fight, and burned them up every one, so that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude, nothing was to be perceived, but only dust and smell of smoke. When I saw this, I was afraid. All right, so that, that great multitude of men that were that's going to try to fight against the Lord and the angels. The only thing that's going to be left of them, when, you know, when the Lord zaps them, and it's going, he's just going to zap them in, in one go. The only thing that's going to be left is dust and smell of smoke, all right? Just like the movie Avengers, all right? You know, Dan uh, Thanos, <laughs> you know, the Lord's going to reduce all of them to, to dust. All right, so that's it on that. I'm, I'm going to go to the next scripture, all right, to, just to tie it all together. You know, I'm going to go into uh, the war in heaven because that's what the war in heaven is. All right. When the Lord comes back, they're going to try to fight against him with their space force and with their air force. That's the war in heaven. All right. So this is Revelation chapter 12. In verse seven, it says, and there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and the dragon fought and his angels. All right. Now, the dragon is speaking about uh, the Edomites. All right. It's that, that same red dragon, okay, that, that, that red beast that's talking about the so-called white man. He's the dragon, all right? He started off as a serpent back in Genesis, and now he's a dragon. It's the same devil, okay? It says, uh, and the dragon fought in his angels, okay? So the dragon and his angels, like I said, those are all the, 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 the air force and the space force. That, those are his angels, okay? It says, and prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. They're not going to win the battle, all right? In the NLT, it says, and the dragon lost the battle, and he and his angels were forced out of heaven. All right, so when it says that, it's not talking about the, the spiritual world, you know, like, you know, uh, like wacky, tacky, uh, idiotic Christians would, would have you believe. All right, there wasn't the, the Most High God didn't get off of His throne and fight Satan with the sword in the, in the spiritual world, you know. And the angels are, are just wa watching, like, yeah, get him, you know, on some WWE shit. This is talking about, uh, you know, them being destroyed out of the the air because this battle is going to be taking place literally uh, in the upper atmosphere. All right, when when Yahweh Shah comes back with his ships, that's the heaven it's talking about. It's not talking about the spiritual world. Okay. 
It's not talking about the third heaven. It's talking about the second heaven. There's three heavens. Okay? But, um... It says, uh... Osalaki, matter of fact, it's the first heaven. Because the first heaven is, you know, where airplanes fly, the clouds... The second heaven is outer space, and the third heaven is the spiritual world. So this battle is going to take place in the first heaven. Verse 9, it says, And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. That's how you know it's talking about the so-called white man. All right, They deceive the whole world into thinking that the, the Most High God and the angels and his son, they're all white men. They deceive the whole world. That's how you know it's talking about the so-called white man. They deceive the whole world, man. They lie to everyone. All right? But now the truth is out. And they're going to be cast out. The, the moment that all the, the Space Force, the, the, the Air Force, all their fighters are all cast, you know, destroyed. That, in that single moment, that's the end of, of Esau's kingdom. <laughs> in that single moment, man. That's why it says that. It says he was cast out into the earth. And his angels were cast out with him. All right. I'll read verse 10 too. It says, And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God for the, and the power of his anointed. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before, the, before our power day and night. Right? Because these damn devils, man, that, you know, they put all type of, you know, uh, BS in the food. They put all type of unclean stuff in the food, you know. They put mixed fabrics. They do all type of stuff to make us sin. And then they try to go before the Lord and accuse us. Like, look at them. They're sinning, you know. They put uh, liquor stores and, and, and guns in the hood and all that. And, they, and then they try to accuse us. All right. And ultimately, they're going to try to accuse the men of the Lord. All right. When they are, they've already done it. And they, they're going to do it even more. Okay, so that's what it means by the accuser of our brethren. So, the last scripture, uh, just to tie it all in, you know, showing you, this is also a lesson going into, you know, how, you know, uh, you know, Lucifer and the devil is really talking about uh, the Edomites, okay? It's not talking about the spiritual demon Satan. So, this is also a lesson going into that, you know, and this is going to tie it all together. All right, so we went into the you know the return of Yahweh Shai, how he's going to take down uh, the dragon, which is Esau. I'm gonna get this to Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 12. It says, "How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations?" So when it says Lucifer here, that's talking about the so-called white man. Because the word Lucifer just means light bearer, all right? D does not the so-called white man have something called the Illuminati, okay? So they're, them being cast down from heaven is them being taken out of power, all right? Because that's what the Lord is coming back to do, to take this devil out of power and to establish the righteous kingdom on a planet Earth, all right? That's what that's what us the prophets are doing. We're heralding his his coming. We're heralding the kingdom of heaven. All right. We're telling the all all people. That's what the Lord set up his prophets to do to to tell all nations the coming of Yahweh Shai. He's about to establish his kingdom on the planet Earth and take down the damn devil. Okay. It says, "How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down?" That did is weaken the nations, cause this damn devil has weakened all the nations, with their with their uh, corrupt f philosophies, all right, with their d democracy. They weakened all the nations, all right, bombing all these other nations to smithereens, all right. It says verse thirteen. It says, "For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of the Most High." So this damn devil, man, he he he's trying to you know say he's he's the most high. He's trying to say he's he's a god. All right, he's trying to say I, I can create life, artificial intelligence. I can create intelligence. You know, the the herbs aren't good enough. I ha I have this 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 uh 
you know, I have this jump shot for you to take. The herbs aren't good enough. All right, the Lord, his creation wasn't good enough. Let me let me add let me add this DNA, you know, let me splice this DNA together. That's this damn devil. He's trying to be like the most high. A man could have children. A man could give birth. You know, that's that's the, the mind of, of this damn devil. He's trying to, you know, do do things his way. Because he, he thinks the most high's way isn't good enough. It says, I will exalt my throne above the stars of the Most High. I will also sit upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. Okay, meaning that, you know, that they're trying to, you know, establish, you know, their seat above the, the, the saints, which are the Israelites. All right. It says, I will ascend above the heights of the cloud, the clouds. I will be like the Most High. This damn devil, he, he wants to be like the Most High, man. And it's, it's evident. You know, anything that, that this, this righteous, this devil tries to, to taint, it's not good enough. You know, I could go, I could go on and on about examples of this devil trying to be like the Most High. You know, teaching teaching the kids, you know, oh oh, if, if, you know, if you feel like you're you're really you're not a boy and you're a girl, you know, <laughs> this damn devil, this man's the devil, man. Like I said, I could go on and on. He's trying to be like the Most High. He's trying to establish his artificial intelligence. He's trying to establish an artificial, you know, kingdom of heaven. The the metaverse. All right. He's trying to be like the Most High. He's trying. He, ultimately, he wants to put that MOTB in everyone. He wants to put that tracking device in everyone, and, and you know, he wants to be able to to enter into your mind. He wants to to know. Your thoughts. All right. That's how he's trying to be like the most high. He wants total control. And that's why he wants to put that MOTB in everyone. All right. But this is what's going to happen. Verse 15. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. I Meaning he's going to be brought down to, the, to a lower state. All right. There isn't a place where you burn for eternity for you wacky tacky Christians out there. All right, hell is a low condition. Okay. It even says that in the NLT, it says, instead you will be brought down to the place of the dead. Like a low condition as if they're, they're dead, you know. This is down to its lowest depths. Because ultimately they're all, they're all going to be, uh, you know, done away with. They're all going to be Obadiah 18. All right. It says, they that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake kingdoms? Because the other nations, when they see this man go down, you know, that's what they're going to be saying. Like, like this this was the, the guy that caused all this trouble? You know, it reminds me of that movie uh, Avatar, you know, how, how they were cutting down the trees, they were destroying the planet. That's what they're doing in real life. But you devils are going to fail, man, when, when our Lord Yahweh Shai comes back. So, Lord willing, this, uh, this lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. Again, going to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakudash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect.